Dating is something that plays a big role in an adult's life, yet it's never really been taught properly. Well, my mom probably tried to talk me, but I guess I wasn't ready back then. Minimalism has helped me become very clean and tidy. But now I live in a bigger apartment again and life sometimes feels like it only consists of cleaning. I wanted to finally solve this problem on a long-term basis. So I made it my mission to create an ideal and efficient cleaning plan. While doing some YouTube research, I stumbled up on a video of her 86 square meters sharing how she puts together an ideal cleaning plan. Here is a rough summary of her recommendation. Number one. Determinate what and how often things need to be cleaned and write everything down. 2. Group tasks with similar work and frequency into blocks. 3. Shell the blocks or complete them on the go. So I walked around the apartment and wrote everything down in details. What is it that needs to be cleaned? How regularly do I have to clean it? I then tried to divide those tasks into blocks, but while doing this I found out that I actually prefer to do everything at once rather than doing something constantly. Here is the cleaning schedule that I came up with for me. Block number one is for even calendar weeks. I clean the whole apartment plus the windows. On the uneven calendar weeks, it's block number two, and I clean the whole apartment plus the beddings. And then block number three, it's every three months and it's a deep clean. So block number one and two, it's almost the same and I do it on a weekly basis. So now let me break down these blocks into details and show you how it looks like in practice. Let's start with the weekly cleaning routine, which is the basis of block number one and two. First, I organize. I walk to the apartment room by room and I put everything back into the correct room. Not everything has to be in the right place yet, but uh, small heaps are enough for now. Then number two, I declutter. I place a trash bag in the center of the apartment I clear out all the little things I no longer need, such as recipes, packaging, cardboard boxes, etc. I then bring away the garbage immediately and recycle. Step number three is stow away. I place everything that needs to be washed in the wash bag. And then I put away everything that belongs inside the drawers. Everything that is not stowed away, I collect in one place in the room. Step number four is clean. I clean every room from top to bottom and from back to front. The floors, however, I leave uncleaned for now. Let's quickly go through the equipment I use for cleaning. First the tools, that's a bucket, a sponge, many many microfiber cloths, a duster, a window puller, I don't know if you call it puller but I'll just call it like this, <laughs> and then a big puller, a vacuum cleaner and cleaning gloves. Then the detergent, I use cleaning vinegar a spray bottle with water and I put in some cleaning alcohol and then a detergent for the toilet. Now let's talk about the cleaning process. First I always dust off everything, especially the moldings and the lamps and I do this with the duster. If the room is very dry I lightly spray the surfaces so the dust sticks to the duster and does not fly around in the hole. When the dusting is done, I go on with the cleaning. I first fill in the bucket with water and cleaning vinegar. Now I clean all the surfaces with a very well rinsed out microfiber cloth. Where necessary, 
I polish with a dry comb. The sponge I use wherever necessary, for example in the bathroom, in the kitchen. The mirrors I clean with water and alcohol and the window cooler. Where necessary I touch up with a microfiber. I change the water often, so I'm actually cleaning and not just smudging around the dust. Step number five is the final touch. I now put everything back in its original place and replenish the small things, for example toilet paper, and if necessary I put the fresh sheets on the bed. Finally, I clean the floor in each room. For this I use either the vacuum cleaner or water with cleaning vinegar and this big cooler. The last thing I clean is the hallway, because I keep everything in there during the whole cleaning process, so I clean that last. I also then bring away the garbage if there is anything left. I also always try to make a little challenge out of the cleaning routine. I measure the time and I try to get a little uh, better or faster every time while of course maintaining um, the cleanliness and still enjoying the process. Additional tasks for even calendar weeks. Cleaning the window. In the apartment there are beautiful large windows, but they only show off properly when they are cleaned nicely. I have found a method to clean them that works actually very well for me. I use cold water and a little rubbing alcohol. With a microfiber cloth and a puller, I properly wet the windows first. Then I pull the water off as evenly as possible with the puller. Finally, I clean the frame with a microfiber cloth and polish the corners with a separate cloth. Additional task for uneven weeks, the bedding. I change the bed line every two weeks. Since the rooms are relatively cool and we don't sweat that much, that's enough. I also welcome the mattresses. So the last and final block is the deep cleaning, which I do approximately every three months. This third block contains all the things that I don't do that often. For example, washing the carpet on the balcony, cleaning the oven or reorganizing and cleaning the closet. I don't do everything at once in these vlogs, but I set an alarm in my calendar every three months and then I just check in if I have done everything. In this Clean With Me video you can see how I clean my whole bedroom and you can get inspired and motivated to clean yourself afterwards.